So our final speaker for this session, so this is going to be the first that we finish early, is going to be Elizabeth Dupre, and she's representing the benevolent dictator of bids. And she will let us know all about what went on while the benevolent dictator was away. So excellent. So hi, I'm Elizabeth. I am not Chris Gorgolevsky, which is actually how I started off the special interest group meeting on Wednesday. Um, but due to logistical issues, Chris couldn't join us. And so um, uh, Aaron Dickey and I had the pleasure of kind of leading that group and, and hearing a little bit of the discussion about where community members are really interested in, in taking bids next. Um, and I know we've heard about bids a couple of times now, but just so that everyone's aware, bids is the brain imaging data structure. Um, so this is an emerging standard, um, hopefully soon uh, endorsed by INCF um, for organizing uh, brain imaging data and actually it's evolving into a broader ecosystem for both organizing and interacting with um, brain imaging data. And so in the special interest group meeting, uh, as Chris had originally kind of put out the call, what we were really interested in doing is just hearing kind of what community members were working on, what they were having trouble with, where they kind of wanted feedback and, and a chance for a space for discussion. Um, and we were really fortunate and that's what it ended up being. Um, so for this group, I really wanted to point out um, in particular, there's one link that I really want you to take away from this, which is bids.neuroimaging.io. And this is kind of our main index um, for a lot of the resources, both that I'll talk about today that were discussed in the meeting, and, and also if you want to take it forward and, and get involved, um, either for your own interests or, or so broadly things that BIDS is really supporting, this is um, kind of the place to figure out all of that information. And as you can see along the top, um, or maybe you can't see depending on the lights, but there are quite a few areas um, that we're really kind of looking for people to, to look into. Um, so the actual specification here is here, but the, one, the two I'm gonna highlight, because these were the two that really came up in our special interest group meeting, are getting started and getting involved. Um, so the first one that I, I wanna talk about is getting involved. Um, so the way that we're asking people to get involved, or, or one of the ways that we're asking people to get involved right now, is actually through these extension proposals. So there's the main bids um, specification, which uh, has been you know, significantly community vetted and versioned and, and is to deal with uh, fMRI data. But we also have uh, a number of communities that are interested in using bids and have extended bids um, to other modalities. So actually we recently just merged in the MEG bids extension proposal, which we were very excited Excited to see. Um, and there are other extension proposals for other modalities that are actively considered and discussed. So actually at the SIG meeting, um, we had two extension proposals that were discussed by members of the community. Um, so these uh, in particular were the bids extension proposals 3 and 21. So there are 21 bids extension proposals that have been proposed. <laughs> There's quite a few areas that bids is, is looking to go to next. Um, so the, the two that we discussed specifically at this meeting, just because we had a quorum of interested members, were quantitative MRI. Um, so these are things uh, like multiple flip angles or contrast. Um, and we also discussed common electrophysiological derivatives. So this would be things like intracranial EEG, EEG, and MEG, and the derivatives of those modalities. How can we organize those within a BIDS framework? Um, so I'm just putting up points for each of these that were discussed. These were pretty in-depth discussions, actually, um, which was really, really exciting. And uh, the subgroups that kind of broke off there have all already started. I've I've talked to them and confirmed that they've started drafting emails that they're going to send out to the bids mailing list with sort of summary updates of what was discussed there for their particular extension proposal. So if you're interested in seeing kind of where their thoughts are, that's that's going to go up both to the mailing list and I assume also um, to the actual extension proposals themselves, which are Google Docs. So you could probably see some edits there as well. And again, if you're interested in seeing these extension proposals yourself or uh, commenting or extending them, you can get to them either through the mailing list or through that bids.neuroimaging.io link that I had up just a minute ago, and we'll continue to press. Um, so this was really exciting. These were some ways that we really want people to get involved. Um, the other thing that was discussed at the special interest group meeting that I am in particular really excited about is getting started. Um, so the bid standard uh, is emerging, um, and although it's gained a lot of traction, there's still a lot of ground left to cover. There's still a lot of researchers who, who want to get involved who may not be involved yet, um, and for some time it's 
uh, it's been a little bit of an onboarding process, and we, over the past few months, and, and Chris in particular, has, has really been working to make this much, much easier. Um, and so one of the things that uh, Aaron in particular was involved with in the special interest group meeting, um, but I also just want to highlight generally because this has been an ongoing effort, we actually just uh, finished up a Google Summer of Code project on this, which was very exciting. Um, but we've actually started creating a bid starter kit. So this is a resource um, also available from that bids.neuroimaging.io website. But if you're interested in getting started with bid, bids or you're interested in helping your students get started with bids or you're already a bids expert and you remember what the difficult parts were for you when you started and you want to make sure that that is documented for someone else, this is a great resource to go ahead and um, reach out, see what's available, see how this is being introduced to the community right now and maybe what any of the missing pieces are or, or where you'd like it to go next. Um, and so we were lucky enough at the special interest group meeting that we got to introduce a few more people to bids, um, and Aaron in particular really walked them through a lot of these resources. But um, if, if you're interested in getting started, I would highly recommend that you check this out um, and that you contribute any knowledge that you've gained in, in your own bids journey. Um, but that's really it, so thank you.